Ah, yes. Rec Room uh, PvP. Mm, yes. Anyways. Um. Yeah, PvP stat chips. So basically, most um don't, don't mind that. So basically, um, most PVPs have like these PVP chips that don't actually detect kills, but rather hits. And I discovered that the hard way when this guy was <laughs> just spamming people and didn't even kill them, and it was giving them just points. So I couldn't find any videos on YouTube about how to make like on kill counter. But I have this thing over here that this is just kind of to test it. Um, I might turn on a setting that lets me see it without holding my maker pen. Anyways, um, so basically what this does is, well, it counts your kills. So the way it works is, uh, this, this, this variable chip here is a substitute for the damage over here. So, yeah, this, this is so tested because I have no friends. Anyways, so we're going to, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to get our HP, which would be, which would, the way this would work with that chip over here and on here is that it would get the, the person being hit and it sends their HP here. And what it, what, what this does is this is just the damage, which would be this part of it right here. Uh, what it does is if the h or if the damage is is equal to or greater than the amount of hp that the person getting hit has um it sends them um, a signal for example let me just die and see it counts it so the way that i would do it on this is that so what we have here is, so this is basically the um, chip, and this is the stats and whatever. So what the way this works is, so basically the same thing over there is gets the person getting hit, gives them their HP. If their HP is not zero, or this may sound weird, but um, I try to set it so... Um, it detects when their HP is zero, but when someone dies, their HP doesn't actually go to zero. It just kind of doesn't. I don't. I don't know why. So I have to do this. So what we have to do is, if their HP is, what we have here is, if their HP is un not equal to zero, and it sends it in the first pin. And this one is, if the damage done to the person is greater than their HP, it also sends one over here. So basically, if their HP, if the damage is greater than or, or equal to their HP, I'll send an output to this over here. And this is connected to the person's attacking. So it will send, uh, when this is activated, it will send the player ID of the person that killed the other person. And it will add one stat to the kill stat. So that's how that works. And look at this if you want to copy it or something. Yeah, anyways, yeah, that's, that's a video or something.